Good evening, everyone. Friday the 13th in the TV6 Sports Department means fly by the seat of your pants. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out either. We will start with college hockey. Michigan Tech is back home taking on Dave Shayak and Alaska Anchorage. Pick it up in the first period. And Tanner Carroll, the Hancock grad, is going to score from Milo Scordich at 352. That ties the game at one. Still in the first. Dennis Ricks will get the puck over to Chad Patilla. And Chad gets his first goal as a Michigan Tech Husky. That's at 12.03. Tech leads 2-1 after 20 minutes. Let's go to period number two. And Brett Olson and Ryan Fern. And yep, that's a score and a nice wrister. That's just at 44 seconds. Less than a minute later. I can count that up as being 54 seconds later. Alex McLeod, yes, from Jacob Johnstone and Justin Fillion. At 138, Tech is rolling at 4-1. And then David Johnstone will get a goal from Gordich and Fern. And Michigan Tech definitely in business. Oh, even I could score that goal, provided I could skate. Tech goes on to win this one by the count of 6-2. The last you know, four or five games, we put one, two goals away. And for us to come in tonight, get the two points in uh, WCHA and put five in the back, and that's uh, very key for us. Yeah, we uh, yeah, we just got to uh, come to the rink tomorrow, and uh, you know we, we know they're going to come out harder uh, tomorrow, and uh, yeah, we got to be ready for them. Um, just play an uh, all-around solid game. And the two teams meet again tomorrow night at 7:07. PM. On the WCHA scoreboard, a couple games wrapped up this evening. Minnesota Duluth, a 6-2 victor over Nebraska Omaha. Wisconsin blanked Minnesota State 4-0. A couple other games still in progress. NMU and Michigan State were going to go right to the shootout because it was tied at 5 and seemed like a really good idea at that point. Just go to the shootout. Matt Berry, second in the Spartans lineup. Oh, beats Jared Coro there. Coro came in in relief of Reed Ellingson. Reed Suckle trying to send it to a third Michigan State shooter. Oh, the, eh, ooh, not quite. And a happy Drew Palmasano. Spartans win 6 5 in the shootout. Down five yeah, five. I mean, it ties the tie in the NCAA's eyes. It's an extra point in our league. To me, it's a gimmick point. I don't like the shootout. I don't even like it if we win it. So it is what it is. And, uh, you know, we have to be able to score in those situations. If we're going to win it, they're going to do a great job. When you score five goals in a game, you need to win it. And on the other hand, if you want to try to feel good about things, it's not very often that you get out of a game where you give up five goals that you don't lose, you know, but I'd rather look at trying to focus on a win. Those were the two coaches, uh, Walt Kyle and Tom Anastas. Uh, NMU had plenty of goal scorers tonight, of course. Brian Nugent, Justin Florek, uh, Matt Thurber, Scott McCauley, and Tyler Grant. And those two teams will play again tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Scored once, but Miami scored twice, and the Red Hawks win 2-1. Alaska and Ferris State went to a shootout, tied at 4. And, of course, on the great CCHA website, you don't know who won the shootout. Also, Western Michigan defeated Notre Dame 3-2. Also in college hockey, the Finlandia women drop a 6-2 decision to Wisconsin Stevens Point. High school hockey, North-South Showcase in Sault Ste. Marie, Escanaba and Canton. Escanaba had a 1-0 lead. Austin Young, a very nice save there on Brandon Grillo, and that would keep it at 1 as Devin Barton clears the puck away. Chiefs managed to tie it and send it into overtime. Cody Kuzno, Bryce Wolf, Ryan Mainz ends up in the net, and... Canton ended up winning this one in overtime by the score of 2-1. Two to one. Also in high school hockey, a good night for the Calumet Copper Kings, the second-ranked team in Division Three, defeats Detroit Jesuit 8-3. Brendan Jocks with a hat trick for Calumet. And Marquette, a 2-1 overtime winner over the Hancock Bulldogs. High school basketball will start with the boys tonight and the big rivalry over in Ishpeming Township as the Hematites of Ishpeming visit Westwood. And we'll pick this up logically enough in the first quarter. For Ishpeming, Tyrus Milimaki, Caleb Runman, I heard someone say double dribble, but no one called, and Mike Hill with the bank shot. Ishpeming has the 2 nothing lead. Short time later, a scramble. Ethan Kucher to Tyler Prophet. And the layup is missed, but the layup goes back in the second time. Thanks to Jared Davidson, Westwood jumps to a 7-2 lead. That forces Ishpeming to call time out. Next for the Patriots, Zach French 
off the rim, put back up and in nicely by number 44, who was not on my old roster. One of those nights where I have to grab the new roster, apparently. Off the rebound, Zach French scores here. And Westwood had a five-point lead at 14 to nine, but Ishpeming would cut into that before the end of the quarter. The handoff to Alex Brionis, who stops and starts and stops and hits the runner from the baseline. That gets Ishpeming within a couple points. And then near the end of the quarter, Dylan Mackey hangs on, gets it over to Mike Hill. A strong move to the basket by the Ishpeming football quarterback. Westwood led by one at the end of the quarter, but Ishpeming pulled away after that. Hematites take this one, 59 to 42. Meanwhile, big game of the West Pack tonight. Kelly McCopper Kings taking on a West Iron County. Pick this up in the first. Kari Boudry grabs the rebound and gets it over to Caleb Pelezer for three. And the White Times have the early lead. Here come the Copper Kings. Andrew Steber will get the pass to Andrew Tickenen who feeds it to Steven Torla. Back to Steber. Yes, we call that a three. He had 24 on the night. Next, the solo effort by Caleb Pelezer as he intercepts the pass and takes it in for the layup. Kelly met with call timeout and regroup under coach Mike Ogela. Second quarter now, after a battle for a loose ball, Steber comes up with it again. And he feeds Andrew Tickenen, who hits a three. And Calumet a big victory in conference play tonight by the score of 44 to 42. To the boys' board, Jordan LaPlante had 22 as Ewan Trout Creek takes care of Waters Meet, 74-35. Jeff Gregory's 21, paces Kingsford past Gladstone, 60-48. It was Menominee, 10 points better than Marquette, 56-46. Adam Mackey has 25, Ironwood Cruises past South Shore, 64-29. Norway, a one-point winner on the road at Manistee, 55-54. St. Ignace goes to overtime before turning back Newberry. 79-70. Also on the board, Sault Ste. Marie, 67, the number one team of the UP. Number three, Rudyard, 59, that's in the Big Five pool. Josh Hester with 26, Cedarville, 68, Glen Academy, 59. And Wasaki defeated Niagara, 49-40. Let's go to girls hoops. Good game out in Crystal Falls as Forest Park looks for a little bit of revenge against Bark River Harris. And we will go into the first quarter. Jamie Madalinski feeds Sarah Madalinski. She makes the bucket. Broncos up 15 to 8. Forest Park calls a timeout. A little motivation needed here. All the motivation you need is Lexi Gusser. Swish. Gusser again later. Now oh, we're running out of time. You know how it goes. Lexi Gusser scores lots of points. She had 36 on the night. Lady Trojans up and Bark River Harris 63 to 58. Jamie Madalinski at 20 for the Broncos. More numbers, please. Norway defeats Stevenson 55 33. It's Gladstone 61, Manistee 36. Kingsford tiptoes out of Escanaba with a two point win 42 40. Hancock 33, Jeffers 29. It was Lance over Lakeland and Hubble 56 37. Maddie Swanson at 22 for the Purple Hornets. Calumet 9 better than Barriga 47 38. The Battle of Ontonagon County goes down to Ontonagon 56 27 over ETC. Butternut 42, Wakefield Marinisco 28. South Shore strides past Ironwood 78 35. Bessemer 4 better than Drummond 37 33. Good balance scoring for Superior Central, 67-30 over North Central. Mid-Penn, seven better than North Dickinson, 40-33. Rapid River, no trouble with Big Bay to Knox. St. Ignace even easier over Newberry. Pickford wins by about a touchdown over Detour. It's Sault Ste. Marie, 63, Rudyard, 29. Women's College Basketball, Minnesota Duluth defeats Concordia St. Paul, 75-58. Hancock's Maria Unquist had seven points in that contest.